when he sees my lips and he sees how glossy my lips are he's like babe come and suck it and i come sometimes sometimes i'll be in the mood and i just want to give him up like a relationship with a guy you shouldn't wait for him to you shouldn't wait for him to say he wants to be pleased you should just have that confidence and do your thing, rude girl like i'm gonna please my man whenever i want to please him and there's nothing that you can do about it hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss our fabulous pretty pen any side way obviously i'm just gonna get straight in the point obviously before yeah I did a get ready with me D appointment and obviously not to get into deep details yet obviously I decided to remove the content and do a whole new one okay and this one of course is going to be better than my last one I did get a lot of comments about my braids and um saying who did my braids guys please check the description box below I'm not gonna lie to you lot yeah braids are rubbing on me they rubbing on me talk to you guys about the appointments on how to get ready and how to do certain things and all these or all, all this and all that because i do this and i do that you get me and you might be getting ready from your house to go meet him at his house then you might want to put a bit more on your face i'm gonna do my eyebrows right now my face is so dry and look at that dirty spot that just went to travel bro why are you traveling i enjoy picking my spots you know that's weird but you shouldn't pick your spots by the way always keep a nigga on his toes just understand like i've made past mistakes here yeah, where i would literally be so comfortable with the guy because i'd be thinking okay i've been with the guy for so long i don't need to make an effort you need to put effort in when you're seeing the guy because i'm not gonna lie to you that's another reason why a nigga would just say i'm gonna cheat on you because at the end of the day it's like they've missed what they they was attracted to in the beginning but because they're so used to you they probably forget like raw like I can't not be with this girl because I've been with her for a very long time. It's because you've been running for so long, don't mean you can't be pretty but any side for him, you know? Don't be looking like a granny all the time. Trust me, it's not cute. Always make sure you're prepared. Always make sure you're prepared to collect the D. You need to make sure that you're not stressed. Me personally, I feel like when you have when you when you have intercourse when your stress is dead, like when you're doing all of that when 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 your stress is dead, you're not gonna be enjoying it. You're gonna be thinking about the things that are stressing you out in your life. Of having drunk I think it is the most amazing thing in the world when you're high and you're when you're intoxicated and you're high and you're on another planet having that intercourse session is the best thing in the world because you know what your inner freak comes out and you're thinking how like, i didn't know i was a freak like this listen i'm telling you right now girls please take notes where's your pen where's your pen and your notebook <laughs> take notes you understand because we all have an inner freak you get me we all do it honey it's not a bad thing. Look how pretty I am. Are you not stupid? No bad yet. Like, I love myself without makeup and I feel like, listen, if I'm going to collect the D, why do I need to put makeup on? But sometimes, you know, it's good to spice things up in the bedroom. It's good to like really, really put an effort in the steps of even getting to receiving the D, yeah. Make, please make sure you smell good. If you've got facial hairs that are too long and it's seeable and he can see it, make sure you veep that. Make sure you wax that. You take that all off your face. You want to make sure you look good because... Remember, he's going to see you in the light before he sees you in the dark. <laughs> he's going to see you and caress you and seduce you in the light before he even gets to the point where he's got put it in you, in your socket. You understand? Guys, I'm not going to lie to you lot, yeah? I've never, ever, ever had um, intercourse with the light on. I don't know. What are you trying to look for? Like, who? You, I don't want you to see my face expressions when I'm receiving it. Feelings are going to come out. I'm going to have an orgasm. I don't want you to see all those things. I don't want you to see how ugly I'm going to look when my face is doing like this. I don't want you to see that. So, we... we, we in the dark. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing all of this with you in the light. Are you mental, fam? Make sure, yeah, you wax down there. Like, don't be them girls to be having intercourse with a hairy vagina. Like, what are you doing what are you doing like you're going to let a nigga open up your legs and look at your hairy do better don't get down like that so you shouldn't get down like that okay no hairy we left that in 2019 yeah if you're going to open your legs make sure you smell good down there because you don't want him to open your legs yeah while you're on in a, mi a missionary position and he and he smells just hits him like it's dead it's dead make sure you use the right products down there water like they say in the book so like i use water to wash my vagina by the end of the day i have to put soap all around the area because i'm not going to lie to you what do you mean water alone to, to wash my nuni you're done out here no i don't care like i haven't had fresh in a very long time so i must be doing something right but i feel like when you're having oval is needed i feel like a guy giving you head i'm not gonna lie to you Whew. I love that. 
I love that. I love it. I'm not gonna lie, but it's been a while, boy. It's been a while. I'm not gonna lie to you, like I actually like. I feel like head. Yeah, it's the best thing in the world when you're receiving it. Like, yeah, I feel like when you're receiving it, it's the best thing in the world because like, who doesn't like head? I mean, if you haven't let a guy eat your cooch, then baby girl, you ain't experienced properly. Like, you ain't experienced sexual intercourse. Like, you ain't had a good time. Like, that's me. Like, if you haven't let a guy eat out your box, you ain't not been having sex, like. I don't know what you'll be doing, but that's not that's not what I'm calling it. When you've showered and stuff, you've shaved, you wax, you've cleaned up your face, you take off your, your facial hairs and all these things, you wash your armpits, make sure you smell good, you come out, you cream your skin, you lotion your body, put a bit of baby powder on, smell like a baby, do you know what I mean? Smell good, moisturize your face, like look pretty, do a bit of makeup, and I'm gonna show you the kind of makeup you should be doing when you're getting the D down, D down, yeah. And be prepared for when bae, be prepared for when bae comes to the house because understand that now it's your time to shine. Now you need to be a bad, yeah. You need to join the, yeah. Because when he steps through that door, baby girl, it's your time to take his life away. But you see me, guys. I don't really have to do too much. <laughs> I don't mean to be so cocky with it, but I don't have to do too much because I'm, I'm like, I'm just me. So then today, bruv, yeah, niggas go cheat. A girl's gonna cheat. We all know this. Like men are trash. Like. <laughs> It don't get no better than that. Men are actually really trash. You get me? And I'm very, very open with my life. I don't care. You can't judge me. I don't give a fuck. I'm very open about shit. I'm very real about it. Lately, enjoy cheating the person that I love. Like, you know when you love somebody, I feel like when you have sex with somebody that you're madly in love with, the cheating becomes 10 times better. If you're going to be out here cheating any, any jack and any henry and olu and wood and olumade it's gonna be i um g in them lot yeah and you don't know them like that you just met them for a week and you're already in their bed you're done at every girl you can't chat for me i don't feel like i don't feel like you should just jump in bed with any guy like i feel like you should actually wait for somebody that makes you feel good and just makes your body feel amazing do you know what i mean like bruv, you can meet a guy today yeah g him and it felt like you was a hoe <laughs> i'm very 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 paranoid when it comes to having like intercourse with people because you can catch anything don't be out here doing bareback with a nigga you don't know bro you're gonna sit on your bed and you're gonna cry and call your best friends and you're gonna be like oh my gosh like olu gave me this oh my god jack gave me this when you're with a guy and you're give and he's about to give you the biggest shalom of your life don't hold back don't hold back if you don't have confidence when you're giving when you're about to give him your 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 socket, if you don't have confidence to receive the D, then baby girl, stop it from happening. Going to have sex, I you need to be so confident. Your ego needs to come out. There's no uh, 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 uh. no. I'm a bad bitch. bounce on that bad bitch. jump on that bad bitch. Yeah, like when you're going to do it, you need to get this ego. Where's this ego coming from? And you need to be like. I'm a bad bitch. Like, sing your favourite song in your head. Sing your favourite song in your head and give it to him. Give him the wickedest slang, yeah? Give him the wickedest joke of his life. So he's going to be like, nah, rah, like, rah. It's like, what the f***? This girl's bad. This girl's bad. Nah, she can't beat me. I'm never going to give you D because, especially if you're going to have to do a guy the first time, yeah? He won't give you because you're going to go back to your friends and you're going to tell your friends, oh, rah, like, he was actually shit in bed. Like, he was shit in bed. Like, he's going to make sure the first time he f***s you, you're going to feel amazing. Like, you're going to feel good about yourself. Do you get it? Your auto ego just comes and your auto ego just makes you feel like, yeah, like, I need to show this guy how much I love him. Like, I need to show this guy how much that's my man. Like, where you going? Like, you ain't leaving me. <laughs> you ain't leaving me. Babes, like, when I tell you, like, yeah, I've been casually cheating one person for a very long time i don't think i'll stop because when someone's when, when someone's good in bed someone's good in bed like you're not gonna stop like you're gonna continue you're gonna continue like you're gonna feel like listen you're not leaving me i'm not leaving you we're doing this <laughs> i don't care do you get what i'm coming from that is the mood <laughs> that is the mood now when it comes to actually giving a guy head in the bedroom guy listen when it comes to all I'm a firm believer that a guy, I feel like every guy should give head. I feel like every guy should give head. I feel like every guy should give head. Like, having, letting a, like, having a guy and you're only giving him all, it becomes boring after a while. Like, you're just thinking, fam, like, where's my thing? Like, why am my cooch not getting yammed out? And then you're thinking to yourself, you know what? 
I'm allow him because his D makes up for it. There's guys out here, majority of them give you head because their D game is shit, so their mouth has to make up for what they couldn't do. Now, I'm not going to lie to you lot, yeah? I've been in three relationships and I've never had one deadbeat. <coughs> can't, you lot, I can't relate with you lot. <laughs> so I'm going for niggas that can't give you a good plug and you're going for niggas that can't jam it in your hole. Then baby girl, what are you doing? You see me, yeah? When it comes to my nigga, I like to make sure that he's secured. I like to make sure that he feels good. I like to make sure that his eyes are rolling back and his feet are crunching like this. So if I have to give you the wickedest uck of your life, rude boy, wickedest uck of your life he shall that you shall receive because you are going to roll your eyes back, yeah? And I'm going to be, you're going to be thinking, wow, this girl's in a video. Like, <laughs> what the we, we're doing a video and shit, you know what I mean? Like, like a nigga's gonna, a nigga's going to be feeling crazy you know when you give a guy the wickedest up you want him to be doing it like you want him to be shaking around in his bed like in the bed like you want him to like give up you want him to tap out basically like i'm not just gonna be saying i'm an expert but i do what i do and i do what i do and i know what i'm doing do you get what i'm coming from i do this do you get it i'm very 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 um when it when it comes to like being it comes to be intercourse i always say this on my snap i've always put this on my snap i'd rather go backwards than go forward i'm not gonna add another body count that's dead like i'd rather go backwards to somebody that i've had intercourse with in my past or an ex an ex relationship like an ex partner i'd rather go backwards to that person and the reason why i say i'd rather go backwards to that person because i'm not gonna be out here adding on body counts because i am lonely i feel like i want my needs to be fulfilled no it's not going to happen i have a good relationship with them like i don't hate them we're very cool we're cordial if we see each other we say hello but the chemistry won't be there no more like we won't physically have feelings for each other anymore but we know that we know each other, we've been with each other for a time, so it won't feel uncomfortable. So with me, I'd rather go backwards than go forward. So some girls, you'd be surprised, like, they don't sleep. <laughs> they just jeep for a living, and it's really bad. It's important that you don't eat food before you get the shalom. I felt like I was going to throw up because with all the moving, all the shaking, all the performance and everything, the food, the food was coming up, and I was thinking, nah, hell no, like, I'm not going to get down like that. I'm pretty put on any side and this is the kind of bitch you got. You got a bad bitch on your arm right now. I'm against all this busting in your mouth and shit. Like I've, I've said it several times on my channel. Like if a guy ever does that to me, I will go and hand myself in because I know the outcome will not be great. Don't be thinking you're pinky in the but she could just take all that in her mouth. Don't think that. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do watch like if Bae's not available, if um, I can't physically see him, I'm going to watch porn. And sometimes I think, guys, yeah, it's good to get yourself in the mood before he comes over. Like, it's good to get yourself in the mood. Like, even if you've got to play with yourself for a bit, do what you have to do. Just your skin melting, just to get your body, like, feeling the friction and stuff. And then when he comes, I'm telling you, it's going to go down in the dunya. You're really going to enjoy it. You're going to be like, oh, my God. Like, go settle for, like, sh I can't. Me, personally, no disrespect to it. I have to physically be, like, I have to physically be attracted to you. I have to physically be, like, attracted to you in every way possible. Like, with, with you not having a hair, a, a, no trim, I have to be attracted to you. With you looking ugly on your worst days, I still have to be attracted to you. And if I'm attracted to you when you look like shit, yeah, and when you have, when you smell like shit as well, then, boy, listen, you must be doing something right, boy, or I must be sprung and there's no way i can lay with you there's no way i can even have sexual intercourse with you knowing that I, i'm just not attracted to you like i hate when girls would be like oh um personality matters the most listen looks to me matters the most because i'm not gonna lay down with no ugly buffalo boy yet in it but there's no way i'm laying down with a guy that's ugly but he's got a banging personality and then you got get the out of here man it's not happening it's not happening at all like, I've never ever been with an ugly guy. <laughs> Can't relate, sis. <laughs> never. Come on, I'm pretty. You think I can be with someone that, that butters? No way, boy. No way, rude girl. Look at that. Look at that pretty pin any side. Yeah. Way up. You're giving him that good neck, that good uckers. Yeah, because you're the baddest uckers. You see, when you're giving that guy the, the good uckers, you feel proud of yourself because it's like, that's your moment to shine. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when, when, when you're having, when you're getting the pipe and you're, you're cheating and you lot are moving and doing whatever you're doing, yeah? But you see, when it comes to you going on your knees and you actually giving this guy head, I'm telling you right now, it's your time to prove yourself. It's your time to deliver. 
you have to deliver. That's when he's going to make his mind up about you. You understand? Because at the end of the day, you see, if you've got a shit head, that is dead. If you can't give head, you're dead. If you can't make a nigga feel good and you can't make a nigga's feet crawl up like this, you're dead thing. Dead. Even if it's going to take you long, you don't have to necessarily make him bust while, while you're giving him head. You just have to make him feel good. Let me tell you the sign. You want to see these things. You want to see his feet crawl up. You want to hear them small little sound effects that he makes. Ah, boom. And then you want him to keep your head there. A nigga will put your hands on him, his hands on your head because he doesn't want you to stop. That's how you know you're giving him the uckers. You know you're giving him the baddest uckers from time he does those three things. You see, if he does those three things, you bagged him and he's going to come back. Mark my f***ing words when I tell you this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Once you've had the best, you can't. There's no way. Wait, what are you going to go for? You're going to go for me to who? Get the f*** out of here. You're mad. Like, this is why I say it. Yeah, it doesn't matter about Jessica. It doesn't matter about... Felicia, it doesn't matter about Mary. F these b worry about yourself. As with these three girls, it doesn't compare to what you will do to him. These three girls are clearly not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But when he comes to you, he re he receives the baddest uckers and the baddest performance. He won't go back to them. It's like to him, it's like I've just had steak and lobster broth, and now I'm going to go have Morley's chicken. Dead thing. I compare. It doesn't compare. That's why I don't worry about no next girl. I don't give two about another girl, bro. I worry about myself because I'm not insecure about no other. I would never be insecure about another female. Like, I don't care what you do with that female, but just try and know when you enter my castle, I'm going to ruin you and I'm going to show you why you should stop these that can't do shit for you. Guys, I might sound like the most like maddest person or i'm so crazy but yeah i'm fucking crazy i'm a psychopath don't play with me don't when you receive good d yeah? when a guy gives you a good 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 plug <laughs> hey you become crazy i've been demised i've been demised so many times by this one guy and he drives me crazy he gives me a feeling that i can't explain my feet crawl up let me tell you, let me give you a lot of points on how to know a girl loves what, loves what you're doing. You see, if she's calling your name, you scored a point. If she's screaming, saying, I love daddy plug, I love daddy plug, then listen, you bagged her, you understand? And if she's telling you to go harder, you bagged her. If she's telling you don't stop, you bagged her. Baby boy, hey, hey. You just made a crazy and you don't even know that she's now going to be crazy over you she's now going to be so f crazy that you she, you can't have another b and even if you even if you wanted to have another b it could never happen because she won't let that happen she won't let another female come in come between what you lot have going on i'm saying this because of experience <laughs> <laughs> i don't do competing i don't compete with no it's not issue like i know my things pattern so i don't care about another female do you know i'm coming from let me tell you something some of you girls are so focused on another bitch stop being so focused on another girl worry about yourself and how you're gonna do it how are you gonna make a nigga want you how are you gonna make a nigga feet stand up like you get where i'm coming from when you're so busy thinking about another female she's winning she's passing you you're not delivering but when you're thinking about yourself and you're thinking yeah i'm a bad around here so when you're getting ready to go check a nigga for your d appointment i want you to have the baddest confidence in the world i want you to slay i want you to look pretty you understand never ever you leave your house without these important things that i'm going to tell you always remake always make sure you have tampons in your bag pads in your bag a granny underwear in your bag perfume in your bag lip gloss in your bag chewing gum in your bag you understand and always we make sure you have makeup wipes in your bag and the reason why i'm naming these these things that are important to you because when you go to a guy's house and you stay over when you get that d your makeup needs to come off your face because he doesn't want to wake up looking like, looking at someone that's just been defeated you need to always have lip gloss because you need to apply that lip gloss to make sure that lips are suckable and kissable. You understand. Your breath cannot stink. Put chewing gum in your mouth. Extra mint. You understand. Always have pads because you never know what might happen. 
Your menstrual cycle might come when you finish having sex. You don't know. Always have pads in your bag. Tampons in your bag. You understand. Always have an extra underwear because while he has defeated that nunny and destroyed that nunny and you have bust and several times, yeah? You need to go to the toilet in his house and you need to wash there with water. Go under the sink, wash there while you're in the toilet or while you're sitting on the toilet and dry there properly and make sure you smell good down there. You understand. And put on your underwear, bad. Don't be out here receiving the plug. And after he's defeated you and destroyed your nunny, you're wearing the same underwear and you wonder why you always have thrush. Do better, babe. You can never have chat for me. Nigga gives you D and you wear the same underwear to go home. I'd rather wear no underwear to go home. Are you crazy? If you don't have an extra underwear, girls, please wash your nunny and put on your clothes and go home. Don't put on the same underwear because you're going to get thrush. Your vagina is going to stink like the River Thames. Not myself because I know what I bring to the table. But do you know what you bring to the table? Another girl can tell you, oh, look, you don't even have to ride properly. Listen, if you have to sit down and watch 24 7 to know how to bend your back and dig it <laughs> that's what you have to do you need to know what you're doing this is yeah the baddest bitch, yeah pretty pen any blood clot side way way just make, make sure your performance in the bedroom is litty committee yeah you want to be a dirty bitch in the bedroom if you swallow that is your own i don't want to know if you don't swallow and you spit good girls do you understand or if you just don't like none of that in your mouth big up you <laughs> but at the end of the day make sure you're doing what you have to do i do this and i do that say it to yourself don't let any girl have chat for you out here no if you've got a man crush monday if you've got a boy that you like and you want him to be yours listen and he's talking to other girls them Forget about them. Worry about yourself. Because at the end of the day, when he's with you and he's spending time with you, he gets a feeling from you. Once, you, once a guy gets a good pussy, he can never do better. Because he's always going to remember yours. He's always going to remember how you get down in the bedroom. He's always going to remember how you do this and you do that. Do you understand? Like, do better. Don't worry about these crusty assholes. Be stingy with your sockets, ladies. Be stingy with it. Don't be out here. Giving your socket to any any guy you come across, it's not cute. It's not cute, sis. Do better. You understand? Be be bougie with it. Now, real life, yeah, I feel a little pretty pun any side. Yeah, understand? So if you're not see a little pretty pun the left, and you're not see a little pretty pun the right, yeah, understand? Anything you do now, real life, yeah, I feel a little pretty pun any side. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please let me know what other videos you would like me to do. Drop that in the comment section below. You know your got you you blood clot gang only you understand thank you guys so much for supporting me i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>